So you've finally done it, you've selected your new puppy to bring home, but now you forgot one thing, you have a cat that already lives there. How are they ever going to coexist? Well in today's video we're going to take you step by step to make sure that that introduction goes off without a hitch. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I am very excited to be with you once again. My name is Nate and this is Min Pin Nation. Thank you for joining us where we talk about everything from tips and tricks to and everything in between. So please consider subscribing below. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need a game plan. So you and I are gonna make a game plan right here. So the first step of our game plan is we need to be prepared. So with most things when it comes to raising your mint pin, being prepared up front will help you save a lot of heartache later on. So to get prepared to, for them to meet, you actually need to set up their rooms. And when I say set up their rooms, you need two separate rooms, two rooms, that are adjacent to each other. We want them to be adjacent because you want them to be able to hear each other, you want them to be able to smell each other, you just don't want them to be able to interact with each other. If you were to put the rooms all the way on the other side of the house, they may not even know that the other one's there. They may have an idea, but not near as strong as if you have them in adjacent rooms. So when you have them in adjacent rooms now, you need to make sure that you get them prepared in advance. So make sure you bring all your cat stuff that you need and all the new puppy stuff that you've got and you put them in those rooms. And before you ever bring your puppy into the house, make sure your cat is already at home in their new home for the time being. So once you have the puppy and you brought them inside, you need to make sure that you actually start loving on them one at a time. You gotta be careful that you take it slow though and that you don't get the puppy overexcited because let's put it this way, when I brought my, my dog into the house, it did not go so well and let's just say I had a lot of accidents to clean up right away. So make sure that you keep them calm, you play with them, you make them feel at home and you need to go back and forth. So make sure you're taking turns with your cat and you're taking turns with your puppy in order for them to smell the other animal and kind of to get more used to this smell here. Okay, now that you've been spending time with each of them in each of their rooms, it must be time for the face-to-face -face meeting now. Wrong, we are not ready for there yet. You now need to swap rooms. So make sure you do this, you know, tactfully and therefore they're not able to interact on the way over, but you're actually going to take your puppy, you're going to put him in the cat's room, and you take the cat and put him inside of where the puppy's been staying. And once again, this is just to even more increase that familiarization. They're going to see their toys, they're going to see their bedding, they're going to see whatever it is, and they're going to continue to have that smell, have that interaction. Now once again, you need to make sure that you go into each room one at a time and that you continue to love on them. You continue to show them that whatever is about to come is going to be a good thing because they are getting so much attention that they are getting annoyed at you. I'll say it again, your animals need to be annoyed at you so much that you're giving them so much attention at this point. Don't forget it. Okay, now it has come down to the time that we've all been waiting for. It is time for the ba bum face-to-face -face meeting. So with this, we need to do this right. You've worked so hard up to this point to make sure that you've familiarized them with the new house, with the rooms, with each other, that you want to take this slow and you don't want to screw this up. And so what you need to do is you need to have your puppy, you need to have them firmly on a leash, and you need to have them very secure. Because when they see the cat, they're going to have a reaction. There's no way around it. No matter how much you've done, they're going to have a reaction. So you need to make sure that you have them held tight and let your cat come to them. Now, if you have help with someone else that can help you with this, then make sure you use them because it will definitely help the interaction. But have the cat come in to the room and make sure that they have that moment. Now, take it slow. Now, remember, if something doesn't seem right, stop and go back. So if they're terrified of each other or there seems aggression there, don't feel bad if you have to take the puppy away or take the cat away and take them back to their separate rooms. This could take a while. And this is very key to make sure that you don't force this. If you want them to have a good, long-lasting relationship, this is the part now. So once they're there and if they are doing okay, you can continue to let them interact. And what you need to continue to do is you need to show them praise. They need to see that once again, them being together is a very good thing. And that the more that they behave and the more energy that they 
you know, accede to each other and the good energy coming from you will help them be calm and just remember that. Remember they're animals, so your words, while they do matter, it's more about your tone It's more, and it's more about your energy towards the situation. So the next thing you're probably wondering is, what do I do? So I've done this multiple times before, but they continue to have aggression. They continue to not want to be together. So if this is the case, we want to do even more of an association method. So if before you were just kind of showing them praise and you were petting them and you were trying to put them together, now make sure that you, you know, get out a treat bag for both of them or open up that can of food for, you know, for your cat, that wet food that maybe they don't get all the time. Whatever it may be, you need to start, you know, we call it the association method. So make sure they're together and then every time that the puppy basically doesn't you know, take the action of lunging or barking or yapping at the cat, go ahead and you know, give them a treat, give them a treat, give them a treat, and repeat that. And then once again, separate them and then that way and then bring them back. And every time you bring them back, that's the only time for a little bit that they're gonna get those treats. So they will begin to associate that even if I don't like this guy, I at least know that I'm gonna get something good to eat. So let's keep this up, all right? So make sure you do that. And once again, take it slow. You've done great so far. And I guarantee that you do this enough and they will become long last friends. So a little caveat I wanted to make sure we put in here is just because they have been good and just because they seem to be enjoying each other's company potentially, or at least being okay with it, you need to make sure that you don't just release them at this point. Now you have a puppy at home, so you shouldn't really be letting them go without on some type of line or in your sight at all time anyways. But what you don't want to do is just let them have free reign with each other because the puppy's still going to be all over the place, very energetic and everything, and it could upset the cat and everything else. So make sure that you still keep a hold on them and keep an eye on them for many you know, months to come really to make sure that they are able to interact with each other and then eventually one day just like my Lily and my Blitz and Zoe they'll be able to be a nice happy family with the rest of the household. So introducing your cat to your new puppy is just one of the many things that a new puppy are going to come to interact. And so we actually did a video right here if you click on here that's five common mistakes when it comes to potty training a new puppy. So if you're interested in something like that go check that out next.